Hey guys, Echo here to bring you another Destiny Guide. Today I'm going to show you where I farm for helium on the moon. Start off by launching patrol mode on the moon. From there we'll be heading to Anchor of Light. I went over some uh, general tips in my spin metal video and uh, I'm just going to replay those now instead of trying to re-record them. As you guys know, in Destiny it pays to be as efficient as possible. It also pays to multitask. Here are a few tips to help with that. Bring some easy kill bounties with you, like kill 100 enemies without dying, or melee 30 enemies without dying. Once you land, grab a mission right away before heading out to the farming area. Abandon any scout or scan missions, unless you could complete it on the way to the farming area or at the farming area. Wear headphones and listen for the noise cues for both chest and resources. Even after dozens of runs, I still find new chest locations. Try and kill as many enemies along your loop as possible. You may get rare or even legendary engram drops from them. It'll take approximately five minutes to do this run. There are five spawn caves in this run, a little less than uh, on the earth run, but uh, there's more chest locations. There are a couple of public events that start here. Defend the Warsat starts at the top of the hour and also 30 minutes past the hour. The Iron Walker starts at 40 minutes past the hour. Uh, both these events have a low chance of happening, so you're not going to see them all the time. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my uh, helium run on the moon. As always, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe. Later! Okay, let's go. 